It's a large coffee type of day. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As always, I really, really appreciate it. My name is Jenny. For those of you who are new here, thank you so much for being here. And if this is not your first time, thank you so much for being back. That means so much to me. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a product review. Dun, dun, dun. The new Curl Smith. This is the High Definition Curl 3-Step System. And the reason why it took me a couple of weeks to get this video together is because when it comes to curly hair, to be honest with you, I don't believe that you get to know a lot about a product the first time you try it. For example, the first time I tried this, I, I don't know how to put this, but I hated all of it all of it i don't know what happened but i tried it again and i tried it again and i tried it again and i have to tell you that my opinion on the product has completely changed when you try a product try it more than once before determining if you hate it or not sometimes we use the wrong amounts sometimes our hair is just not in the best mood so trying a product more than once is always a good idea so i have already tested this product out five different times I feel like at this point i'm like all right i feel confident with giving my true and honest opinion about everything. So the reason why my hair looks like this, where it's like half done, and it's because this is my hair out of the shower. I don't have any products because this is gonna be a review slash demo. So I didn't actually wanna style my hair. I wanted to do that with you guys on camera. So let's go ahead and jump into the first product. Well, hold on. I'm getting a little fine in, a little ahead of myself. Let me go ahead and tell you, first of all, what this is. The Curl Smith High Definition Curl 3 Step System comes with three different products and the different products are a conditioning wash, a memory reactivator which is like a refresher and it comes with a souffle. Mm, no, not that kind of souffle, Jenny fatty. <laughs> this is a styler, like a styling type of cream, but they call it a souffle. So those are the three products that came in this little bundle. And the retail price for that is, one second please, $64. That is what I paid for it. I bought it at Ulta. So this brand is vegan, cruelty-free, ethical sourcing, and certified organic. Also, all of their products are free of sulfate, parabens, silicone, mineral oils, phthalates, all blends carefully in small batches under strict supervision by our master curl smith. Pretty cool. Also, it says here, we shake the hands that harvest our ingredients. So you could just tell that this company really represents overall good quality products. This is one of the things that intrigued me about it and why I wanted to try it when I saw it at Ulta. The company itself has really impressed me. I love everything they stand for. I love that they're very big on like creating products for curly girls, but getting rid of all the bad things and only keeping the good stuff. So kudos to Curl Smith. Now let's go ahead and jump into the first product I want to talk to you guys about, which is the cleanser. Okay, this is the Curl Quenching Conditioning Wash. And here it says that this is for extra thirsty, curly, wavy, or kinky hair. It moisturizes, shines, it's an anti frizz and it's a detangler. I mean, when I saw that, I was like, we shall see. We shall see. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys a little bit more about the product as far as like what the packaging says. No foam, no problem. Say goodbye to traditional foaming shampoos which contain chemicals and soap to strip the natural oils from your curls. We don't want that. This gentle, lightweight, yet hardworking formula removes the buildup and dirt. I like it so far. Leaving curly hair manageable, soft, and shiny, suitable for color-treated hair, and perfect for detangling. So this right here is 12 ounces. Not my favorite size, but I think it's just because when I like the product, I want more of it. But I think that it's a good amount, um, especially since I don't wash my hair very often. Like, I don't wash my hair every day. I don't wash my hair not even every other day. I wash my hair once or twice a week, if at that, okay? Lately, with my postpartum hair loss, I've been washing my hair like once a week. So something like this would last. However, if you're someone who washes your hair every day, you want to use something like this on a daily, this may not 
last as long. And let me go ahead and tell you the retail price for this alone. One moment, please. Okay, so this retails for $25. So it's a little bit more on the expensive side. And I actually, I am on the Ulta website right now. I see here that they have a 32 ounce. Now that is the kind of size I'm talking about. And the price for that is $56. So yes, that is expensive. Moving on to my thoughts on it. And like I said, the first time I used it, I hated it. But I'm going to be honest with you, I was just having an off day I, because I hated everything. So I was probably having an I hate life day. So that we're just going to discard that first day. Like we're just going to pretend like that never happened. Day two or time two or the third and fourth time that I tried this, I have to tell you guys, I am super, super impressed by this product i'm gonna go ahead and as you guys can see i've entered the clip of me using it in the shower so the packaging does come with instructions and it says apply a generous blob okay you see that a generous glob is what every single curly product should be saying okay <laughs> so it says apply a generous glob of this foamless co-wash into wet hair this does not foam so you're not gonna get like bubbles or anything like that so it might be a little strange at first because you don't see any of the bubbles but we all get used to it massage into the scalp and smooth through the ends leave on for three minutes rinse and reveal silky smooth detangled curls i went ahead and i did exactly that i started on the top massaged that in then i went adding little by little throughout the whole entire hair and then you guys saw that i was detangling with my fingers and yes for me it did in fact detangle my hair and as you guys could see on the clip i could actually finger detangle my curls with just this product so i was completely blown away the smell is amazing i absolutely love it and picked ingredients mashed shea butter it has organic coconut oil avocado oil black pepper oil i'll go ahead and i'll add everything about the product in the description below so this is definitely something that i see myself continuing to use they did not they did not disappoint. Kudos to you, Curl Smith, because this curl crunching conditioning wash is amazing. I highly recommend, and it is Jenny approved. Yay! <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna move on to the Moisture Memory Reactivator. So now let's read the about this product. This lightweight formula is a triple thread. A leave-in conditioner, daily moisturizer, and styling primer. Bam, bam, bam. Instantly rehydrates, reactivates products, and creates the perfect base for styling. It's perfect for extending the life of your style while improving hair health and manageability. Bam. I mean, that's very intriguing. You would probably want to buy that too. Now you understand why I bought this, right? It says here that it is for curly, wavy, textured, or dry hair. It says refresh, soften, shine, revive, heat, UV, protect. Again, it has like a lot of like the really awesome ingredients, some aloe vera. It has organic apricot, organic avocado. All of a sudden, I'm just like really, really hungry. This is eight ounces. Let's see what it retails for. The price for this is, one second please. $24 and I'm on the Ulta website. It doesn't seem like it comes in any other size. Okay, so I'm actually going to demonstrate using this. I'm going to be using it as a leave-in conditioner. To use as a leave-in conditioner, apply to damp hair after washing and style as usual. This is something else that I absolutely love in this trio. Loved it and I have used it as a leave-in and I've also used it to refresh my curls. This is a very light and if you've been following me for a little while you already know i have very fine very thin and i don't have a lot of hair especially nowadays light products are a must for me this is very light i did not feel like it weighed down my hair at all i felt like when i refreshed my curls with it, it just made my curls super super bouncy as a leave-in i didn't feel like combining this with other products was weighing down my hair which tells me that this is in fact a very light product it's not going to take away volume it's not going to weigh down your curls i do feel like it gives amazing definition for a day like 
three, day four, I, what I would do is I would spritz it in the areas so that would get frizzy. Sometimes I spray it in my hand and I run it through my curls or just spray it directly on my hair. This is definitely a must. It is Jenny approved. I absolutely loved it. Alrighty, so product is in my hair. So now let's go ahead and move on to our final product of this trio, which is the delicious souffle. <laughs> this is the Curl Defining Styling Souffle. This is for extra thirsty curls or kinky hair. I did notice that it does not say wavy. And all the other products, for example, the reactivator, this one says it's for curly, wavy, textured, or dry hair. This one just says curly or kinky. It's enhanced anti-frizz and bounce. So the souffle is eight ounces and retails for $27. When I purchased this, the representative that was there was a very, very specific when she says that when using this souffle, the idea is to use a very, very small amount. So then when you use a very, very small amount, something like this, and being that it's $27, not so bad. I mean, if you're using globs of this and it's $27 in three uses, you're gonna be done with the product. Okay, unfortunately, this product was the only one that did not work for my hair. I tried this five different times in five different ways, and unfortunately, the souffle is a womp, 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 no for me for me, okay? Now, I wanna make it very clear that I'm not saying that this is a bad product. On the contrary, this is an amazing product, so unique. I wanted to like this so bad because it is so unique. This product is so much fun. Like I, the first time I used it, I was just like, what is this? This is amazing because the first feel it is kind of gummy and I mean, it clumps up together but then when you rub it in your hands how the instructions say it literally feels like you're whipping it and it feels like a whipped cream i mean it feels delicious <laughs> it feels like i want to eat it imagine when i first felt the product smelled it everything i was so excited to like it and love it but unfortunately it just did not work for my hair What's happening to me with this product is that it's creating a really, really, really strong cast that I could just not break. The first time I tried it, I thought that maybe I had used way too much, which I feel like I did. I used a little bit too much. You're supposed to use a very, very minimal amount. So I was like, okay, I definitely overused the product, which is why I have such a strong cast and I'm not able to like break it. But then the times after I used a very, very small amount and it just doesn't matter how little of the product I use, it's just creating a cast that is impossible for me to break. I mean, I scrunch it with my hands, I've tried diffusing, I've tried air drying, and it almost feels like I'm putting on a stronghold gel. That's kind of the effect that it's giving me. Now, if you have curly hair that's a little bit thicker, it's a little bit more coarse, this product is amazing and this can definitely be a one and done. This is definitely one of those products that I believe if you have the right type of hair for it, this is all you need. My sister-in-law actually bought this product with me. We went together to Ulta and we bought it together. For her, it has been amazing. She is in love with this souffle. That is why it's very important that you guys understand that I am not saying that this is not a good product. I am saying that this just didn't work for me. If you are suffering from a lot of frizz, if you have very thick, very coarse hair, or it's just a little bit unruly and unmanageable, I feel like this is perfect for you. If for example, you have noticed that curling creams, like very light curling creams do not work for you and you have to mix it with a gel. If you need that combination in order to get the results that you want, or for example, your curl cream doesn't allow you to get to day two, three, or four, I think that this is gonna be perfect for you. But for me, like I said, unfortunately, it was a no-go. But either way, I am going to style my hair with it. I felt like it was only fair. I show you guys all the wonderful products that work for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you when something doesn't work for me. Enough with the talking, let's go ahead and let's style my hair. To use on dry or damp hair, melt in between your palm before use creating a whipped texture. Apply to the ends first, scrunching it upwards to create a finition. Do not rinse out. No residue, no greasiness, no crunch.
Alrighty guys, so I followed instructions. I started scrunching from the bottom up. The amount that I showed you guys is all I used. It's a tiny amount. That's it. If I use anything more than that, my hair is going to be crunchy. It's gonna be like a hot Cheeto. <laughs> I'm going to diffuse off of camera. I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna show you guys the final result. I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so I am back and I feel like this is as good as it's gonna get. So I went back and I re-wet some of the areas where the cast was just impossible for me to break. And I definitely feel like that helped, especially these curls in the front. These curls were a little bit crunchy, a little bit too much for my taste, especially since they framed my face. I was like, hell no. So I went back and I re-wet them and I re-diffused and I felt like that definitely helped to soften them up. Not my favorite, but you guys already knew that. I don't really know what it looks like on camera. There are certain areas, especially like down here. Look, let me show you guys. These curls, they still have a small cast to them and maybe by tomorrow the next day the caps will break off so yeah these are the final results alrighty guys so that is pretty much it for today's video I really hope that you guys enjoyed it I actually really enjoyed the fact that I had some products that worked and then some that didn't I never want you guys to get the impression that everything works for me and that oh Jenny's curls like you know they always look perfect that's not the case it's just a lot of times when I come to you guys I already know what works and what doesn't so it might appear that way but there are a lot of products actually a lot a lot that I feel don't work for me because my hair is so fine and because it's so thin so don't feel alone if you find that a lot of products don't work for you same thing happens to me and so anyways as always please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you like it also I would love 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 to know if you guys have tried Carl Smith what are your thoughts like what products have you tried what has worked for you what hasn't i recommend this brand i really do i think that they are wonderful i love like everything that they stand for i love that they're all for like cruelty free vegan just using good ingredients that just to me it shows that they care about us curly girls and i am definitely going to be trying more of the products this is not all they have they have other things and i'm definitely going to be trying trying other ones when I do I will check in with you guys let you guys know so anyways I am gonna go because I just got a text from my mom saying that they ordered fritanga and for my non-spanish followers that is food from Nicaragua and if you haven't tried it I mean you need to okay so as always I love you guys and I will see you in my next one bye ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Hold on. Stephanie. Oh. I mean, first.